And what's going on, YouTube? This is your boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. Just wanted to show uh, a member. They were asking me how to get um, some samples dragged into a uh, machine and how to get them sliced and chopped up. Now, I know we've covered this before, but again, there, there are people who are new. So I figured let's, let's just go ahead and, you know, just review it a little bit. So one way that you can do it um, is if you press the sampling icon on your machine controller, you can be on the record icon if you're going to record externally from an external turntable, whatever the case may be. You can select your inputs here. I'll, I have a, a pretty updated video on that. It's called Recording um, from Machine to Your DAW. You might want to take a look at that. That goes pretty in, in depth. You can sample internally. Um, <clears throat> there's a couple of tricks out there where you can run from your headphone output into the inputs of your audio card and you can record off YouTube, the internet, things like that. So, you know, there, there, there's many ways you can do it, whether it's from a turntable, from YouTube, uh, internally, externally, you know, whatever you want to do, an iPod, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, more advanced users, if you're familiar with the map, you can take this little audio file here and you can drag it directly on the map as I'm doing here. And as you can see, as I'm moving my mouse up or down, I can control the, I guess you can call it the zone range or the key range. And also can go over here and select pads or sounds, you know, wherever I want to put it, you know, but that that's a little more advanced. I'm not going to get into that because um, that will probably confuse somebody if they don't, you know, if they're not familiar with the base key. <clears throat> um, I have a, a video also on the base key, how you can find your uh, your notes on that as well. So let's go ahead and keep this basic for right now. We'll drop the polyphony down to one that basically allows you for whenever you're hitting the pad it's going to make the sound choke itself off in a in a in a, in a, in a sense kind of how you do how kind of how it does in choke groups but in choke groups it's going to cut pads off when you select your polyphony to one it just chokes the sound off uh individually <clears throat> so you're going to have to use choke groups if you want to um choke other sound pads off okay so let's get off this sample pad let's go back to a regular uh, sound now here we are on machine with just a regular sound so basically what you do you grab your your audio file you drop it on the sound okay right there we're saying VIP essentials just a sound now you have the piano roll here this is where your sounds are going to get mapped okay so however long your sample is that you're going to slice and chop is going to determine the length of uh, the mappings here so I can go on the, on the machine controller and I can press um, pattern. We'll set length to, we'll just put it four bars for right now. Cause I'm not even really sure how this is gonna come out yet or what I'm gonna do. Cause it's just a, you know, just a, a tutorial demo. So it's no big deal. Turn it off. So we go over here to the sample icon and we see the audio file let me just increase the size a little bit all right and there's our audio file here and that mic can shrink this down good okay great now on the machine controller you have icons where you can you can scroll through your sample left and right you also can uh, control the zoom now you see how I'm zooming in on that okay and I can go through the audio file like this in real time okay so you also have the shift and mute key if you wanted to kill the audio on that so let's say in this particular sample Let's shrink this down a little bit so I can get a better view on this. Okay, as I'm looking at this, let's say if I don't want all of this um, garbage here on the end, okay, I can control the start and end points like this right here. On your on your hardware controller in the left screen, it's going to have a start and end button. You're on the edit tab. So let's say if I know, I just want to, I'm just going to estimate here because again, this is just for a quick video. I just wanted to chop this off because I know that's going to be plenty for what I need to uh, show show you what you need to do in this tutorial video. You can go over here and you can press truncate. Where it says truncate here, you can reverse the sample. You can fade the end points. You can fade the um, start points. You can stretch it. You know, time stretching. I have a time stretch video. You might want to take a look at that. But let's just say if I just want to truncate it. Now you can do it here or you can do it on your hardware controller. I'm going to use the hardware controller and I'm just going to press truncate. All right. So it cut most of the, uh, the sample off. So now when I, when I press the button here, so you're not going to 
I could press shift and mute and kill that if you don't want the extra audio. And you also have these little these little end buttons here where I can bring it down even further. So let's say if I cut that off and let's say on the the start point here, I didn't want that little And we'll cut that off. <clears throat> so that's pretty much a dope loop by itself. You know that that's that's a pretty hot loop. So let's let's go ahead and slice that up. So let's jump on a slice tab, and we can use split mode. We can use detect, which basically detects on the transients. Okay, and we also have grid. Basically, however you got your grid set up, we'll we'll determine that. That's sixteenth notes. You know, you can do fourth notes, eighth notes, you know, whatever works best for you. Um, basically, what works best for me is split mode. I feel with split mode, I have a little more uh, room to work with. And you can do it by four bars, eight bars, 16. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd rather uh, this. This is actually the amount of slices. In other words, the pads will light up. OK, so however, however many slices you want, uh, that's up to you whatever works best for you in your mix um because you also can add them you can remove slices if you need more if you don't need them i'll just go with eight four right now just to start off with and you can use your start endpoints to manipulate your samples so you can tune it um let's see where am i at here So you see how I'm slicing that up. So now that's basically, let's say if I wanted to do it like that, I have some basic um, slices down. Again, I'm just playing around with it. But what you can do is you can use this drag uh, icon here if you wanted to bring it uh, to that particular group. Well, you could press apply too and it'll map it that way. But what I like to do sometimes, I'll just take this little icon here and I'll just drag it to a whole new group. Like right there where it says group C or, or rather any group. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, I'll just put it on group C for this particular situation. You see it gets mapped out. Okay. So it gets mapped out like that. And without getting off subject, you know, you can adjust the beat per minutes with the time stretching and uh, things of that nature. But just for the sake of the video, that's how you get it in there. And let's say if I want to erase this, you also can use the select icon on your hardware controller. Again, that's another video where well let me see if i bring that back let me go select all right now when you hold the select button you see how it highlights everything okay now say if i went to events on your hardware controller you're going to notice um where it might say position multi-event and things of that nature and you select you can you can select individual sounds as i'm doing here you like i'm tapping on the pads okay and you see how they're disappearing Okay, then they're highlight. Like, let's say if I just use this first sound, for example, on the hardware controller. Again, I'm gonna, I'm getting, I'm getting a, a really dope HD cam, and I'm gonna zoom in on the uh, the hardware controller so you guys can get a better look at that. 
So stay tuned. I'm going to be dropping a lot of new videos uh, this month, and we're going to get really in-depth. A lot of free tutorial videos on Machine 1.8. But um, on the right-hand side of the screen, um, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're looking at your hardware controller and you're following along where it says position 1-1, one, one, you can move that. See how that's moving? Now, if I wanted to do the whole entire group at one time, <clears throat> I would select or rather highlight everything. Okay, now that's called a multi. Now, when it's a multi, you're doing a multi position. See, I moved the whole entire group at one time. If that makes sense, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but you can move the whole entire group at, at one time. <clears throat> when you deselect pads, you move them. All right, so I'm getting way off subject. <laughs> so let me just get out of that. But that's one way, you know, because there's people who perform live and stuff like that. And they might say, hey, I don't want to be messing with that mouse. So that is one way you just use your hardware controller and get it out the way. Like you just say select. You say, hey, events. You can say, hey, give me all of that. You press erase. And boom, it's gone. Okay, so now we are back on samples. Let's... uh Increase the size just a little bit. And there's our samples that we just dragged in. We can go to sample icon and you see each one's in there. You know, I'm just going through it really quick, but they're on they're on each individual sound. So you can edit them. You know, if you want to go in there and zoom in on those samples, you know, and you know, fine tune you know, your start and end points, you can do that. You go under edit and you can just start tuning that and mapping that out the way that you need it to be. So that's pretty much how you get that in there. Then once you're on your sound tab here, or rather the pattern arranger tab here, you know, if you wanted to record and then you just see it's all sliced up. So you can play around and get different patterns. This part can be a little aggravating. You got to go through each sound. Uh, let me bring this up so you can see it. Glad I'm actually I'm glad that did happen because that's going to show people. Okay, now when I go through my sounds, I can set this up. You see what I'm doing? I'm going through every sound, and where it says polyphony one, choke group one. That's controlling the voices. And it's also choking them off. Kind of how an NPC would. Actually, exactly how an NPC does. Because if you're going to be slicing and chopping samples, you just have no choice. Otherwise, it's going to be one big mess. Like when you're hitting your pads, you're going to hear so many overlapping sounds and voices. And you don't want that. I mean, not unless you wanted to have some extra voices. And I mean, there's different ways to do it. But... <laughs> Plus, I'm doing a video, so I mean, if I was really, you know, in the mood for, to do that right now, I probably could find something real dope in that joint. Find like a hot little mix of sounds and and and, and get in there. Plus, you could time stretch them and you could tune them and things of that nature. So, yeah. So that's basically how you just get your uh, your samples in, and uh, you can edit them. You can map them out. You can drop them on your map here. You know, if you want to put them on certain keys and things. Like that. I have a mapping video on that also. If you want to take a look how how to map your sound on specific keys uh, which is another great way for doing drum kits if you drag and drop let's see like some drum kit sounds over here you can drag them on this map individually and map out your drum sounds. you also can stack sounds and layer sounds and you know the possibilities are just endless with machine it's it's a really dope dope program so again I don't want to run too long on this because I think I am running extremely long on here um, but I just want to cover that sampling part as far as how to get your samples in get them sliced up and chopped up and that way you have a good starting point to begin uh, your project and uh, just like always you can you know you have voice settings here but you know you can you can control 
different um well, I don't want. I, don't, I guess I'm not going to get into that. I'll get into that in another video because I don't, again, I don't want to get off subject. I'm just going to stick with the sampling right now. But you can save these these settings in a project, so then um, that way when you come back, you know, you can have things pre set up. Like you can start off with this project because if you if you bring in uh, a different audio file, it's gonna it's gonna erase that. But you can have okay. For example, let me show you what I'm talking about. For example, the polyphony is already set on that. Okay. But let's say if I had a sound, I said, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm going to replace that chop with a different chop. The settings are going to stay the same. Like if I take this, this little wave file right here and I say, hey, let me just overwrite this little sound right here. Boom. It went right in there. Now that second pad is no longer what was there. Because if you look here, then go in there, slice or edit rather. See the whole wave file? It went back to the beginning. So now for future projects, if you don't want to go back and set the polyphony and the choke, you don't have to. You can just open you could just you could save this project before you start doing anything and say, hey, look, this is gonna be my little slice and chop preset, you know, for, for my choke groups. So now the sounds are set. You know, and then you can go further, you know, you go down to sound nine and and, and ten, eleven, twelve, you know. Just basically dropping anything on there doesn't matter. Just as long as you get this set, the polyphony and the choke, now you have a cool little template. So when you want to slice and chop your audio, you know, everything's done. All right. All right. So this is boy Joe Fontaine, the VIP Sound Lab. I'm going to hold it up right here. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.